Mathematics can be a very difficult subject, particularly if you don't have the right skills. But once you know how to approach it strategically, you'll find it less frustrating and easier to answer the questions in exam. In this video, I will teach you how to score A plus in mathematics and we'll start right now. Hi everyone, my name is Shirley and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you'd like to improve in your math skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's take a look at the first tips on how to score A plus in mathematics. Incorporate maths equations into your daily routine to help sharpen your skills and you will recognize that there are many ways that maths exist all around us. Take the time to apply it in common situations. For example, a t-shirt is on sale for 30% and the regular price for the t-shirt is 100 ringgit. So you take 100% minus 30%, so what's left? 70%. So 70% of 100 ringgit will be 70 ringgit. So that's the price after discount. So if you practice this regularly, okay, you eventually will find that oh, maths is actually is important in our daily life. So it's good that we master maths okay, and we use it and apply it in our daily life so that when it comes to exam, you'll be able to solve the questions with no hassle, huh? no sweat. Take out your book and look at the content page and see how many chapters are there in your syllabus. Next, you got to draw a plan and write down what are the chapters that you want to accomplish within a certain period of time. Remember to master and understand each topic before you proceed to the next chapter. You look at the examples, study the examples and then try to do the exercises in the subtopics and then as you move on, it will be easier. Of course, when you first learn a new chapter, it will be very difficult and you might struggle a little bit but as you keep on practicing, you'll get the hang of it and then it will get easier. So when it gets easier, it means that that is the time that you proceed to the next chapter. Formula is the key to solve the question. For primary level students, the formulas are not given to you in exam. So therefore, it's compulsory that all the students memorize the formulas by heart. As for secondary level students, even though the formulas are given to you in exam, doesn't mean that you have to refer to the formula sheet every time. Street A students don't really have to rely on a formula sheet because all the formulas are inside their head. So when they see a question, they will know which type of formula to apply for which type of question. So how to memorize formulas? Firstly is to do lots and lots of practices. So when you do lots of practices, eventually the formulas will go into your head. Secondly is to write it down on a piece of paper many, many times. And thirdly is to say out loud many, many times, especially before you go to sleep. For example, Y equals to MS plus C, Y equals to MS plus C, Y equals to MS plus C. Or the area of a triangle, which is half times base times height, half times base times height, half times base times height. So once you do it regularly, okay, eventually the formulas will go into your head. Remember, where there's a will, there's a way. Allocate at least 30 minutes to 1 hour to practice maths every day. Remember that maths is not a subject that you can study last minute. If you haven't been practicing maths for a very long time, you find it that your momentum starts to go down and it's harder for you to pick up from where you have stopped. And eventually, you are just wasting your time. Remember that time waits for no one and that time you don't cry over spilled milk, okay? After you have covered the whole syllabus, you may practice state trial papers and also past year papers. Okay? In this way, it will sharpen your skills as you get used to the style of asking questions in exam-based questions. You may download it from the internet. The words with the marking scheme will be better because you may check your answers yourself. Okay? So if you encounter any problem, remember to refer to the reference book for solutions or you may ask your school teacher or tuition teacher for guidance. Study a school textbook or reference book on a chapter that will be covered in your next class. In this way, you'll understand better when the teacher is teaching in class and then you can keep up in class. There must be
must be a reason why school teachers give homework. It is because they want the students to practice more at home and remember the steps so that they can apply in the exam. And don't do it last minute. Once you get the homework, remember to do it on the same day. Because if you accumulate all your homework, it will add more stress to you. And furthermore, you don't know how much time you need to finish all your homework. So it's best that you do it first, okay? Prioritize. Homework is more important. Finish your homework first before you do other things, okay? Remember, don't procrastinate. Pay more attention when the teacher is teaching in class. According to experts, there's one thing that students lack of and difficult to master, that is focus. So why students are unable to focus? Because they tend to get distracted easily. And therefore, this is the skill that students, all students must master. Because if you don't focus when you're studying, okay, you will, you will have to study back the same thing over and over again, especially before exam. Okay? Then it's just wasting your time. So if you are focused when the teacher is teaching, you just have to read one or two times and then it will eventually go into your head and it can last longer until exam. So that is what we call study smart. Remember to ask questions if you don't understand anything in class. Bear in mind that teachers are there to help you and guide you and make sure that you understand what you are learning in class. And remember that teachers are not psychics. Teachers are not psychics, they cannot read minds. Okay, so if you're really very shy to ask during class, approach the teacher after the lesson is over. I'm pretty sure that the teacher is willing to help you if you're willing to learn. Well, that's all for now. If you ever feel demotivated or feel like giving up in maths, watch this video. I hope that it will make you feel better. So if you wish to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. If you find this video useful, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends who wish to get A plus in math exam. So hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye!